The Sun Belt Championship is staying in Troy. The Trojans knocking off the Chanticleers to claim their first Sun Belt title in five years. WDHN's Michael Rinker has more from the vet. Veterans Memorial Stadium, Troy University's football team did something they have never done before in their program, and that's what a Sun Belt Championship game doing so at home as well, taking down Coastal Carolina 45 to 26. And this caps off an already impressive year one under head coach John Sumrall. That was as good of a feeling as I've ever had after a game. And it really, I'm just so proud of these kids. That's what the best part of it is, because these kids have worked. Um, I'll get emotional, but <laughs> these kids have worked so hard. Now, how did they get it done? How about scoring the first 31 points of the game behind the arm of quarterback Gunnar Watson? He finished the day with 318 yards and three passing touchdowns. That performance earned him the Sunbelt Championship game MVP. The first pass to Neonkre, I think that really set the tone because he, he caught a ball and made people miss. And then after that, the back shoulder to Tez really um, just kept us going. And then after that, it just kept on flowing. And the defense was as dominant as they have been during the Trojans' win streak. The defense forced a punt or a turnover on downs on Coastal's first six possessions, and that led to the multi-score lead before the break. Leading the way for the defense was Carlton Marshall, this game stamping an already legendary career for the six-year senior at Veterans Memorial Stadium. You know, it feels great. I don't think it has really hit me yet that I could just, this will be my last, one of my last times you know, sharing the field with these guys. I'm just trying to soak it all in. And, uh, you know, when I lay down my head to bed, like on my pillow, you know, I think I'll be satisfied. So the Troy Trojans are Sun Belt champions, and they can enjoy that tonight. And then they get to look forward to playing in a bowl game later on this winter. 